At the Nueces County Courthouse today, a district judge sentenced a retired Corpus Christi police officer, Tommy Cabello, to 10 years in prison. This after a jury found him guilty yesterday of domestic violence and evidence tampering. Our Rudy Trevino was in the courtroom when the sentence was read. Rudy? Joe, the courtroom was packed when Judge Ina Klein told defendant Tommy Cabello he will do prison time and not probation for his crime. This after a jury found him guilty of domestic violence, tampering with witnesses, and tampering with evidence. The most compelling moments, though, coming during the victim impact statement. Quite frankly, I don't think you understand how you affected me to this day. Powerful, condemning words coming from the most unlikely person, the defendant's own son. For countless nights after you, I've had nightmares of you finishing your unjust deed and killing me and my family. I know you're not a stable person or my mother, so why should I dare trust you with my siblings? The victim's impact statement coming just moments after 214th District Court Judge Ina Klein sentenced the 14-year veteran of the Corpus Christi Police Department to the maximum sentence of 10 years. Today is a victory for justice. Reynaldo Peña, appointed by the DA's office to prosecute the case because of a conflict of interest, says his job to get a conviction has been accomplished. Nobody would argue that this was not a explosive, dangerous situation. And uh, I'm just so glad that at least for now it's over. Um, but there's always the future to worry about. And that future for Tommy Cabello will be decided in 30 days. That's how much time he has to file an appeal, which his attorney says he will most certainly do. A lot of the trial was focused on things that weren't actually involved with these allegations. Uh, but be that as it may, it, 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 there's such a history that it's, it's a tough case. In the meantime, while Cabello was sentenced to 10 years in the Texas Department of Corrections, his actual time served will be closer to a little more than one and a half years. That's when he becomes eligible for parole. And while most convicted felons, when released, are faced with starting life over, Cabello will have a head start. Our retirement benefits are guaranteed. Once you've earned your retirement vesting uh, provision, then that's a benefit that's guaranteed to you, regardless of whether or not you were to retire from the city, resign, or if you were terminated. And according to the city's HR director, Cabello can start collecting those benefits as soon as he turns 60 years of age. Joe. Rudy, thank you.